In order to understand the routing process, we need to understand how a router forwards a packet. To forward a packet, the router needs at minimum two pieces of information. The first piece of information is it needs the destination address. It needs the IP and subnet mask of the destination, and that destination must be reachable. The second thing we need is a pointer to that destination. That pointer can be to a network that is directly connected to the router or the address of a directly connected router or next hop. Finally, we make a decision on which route is the best based on the longest match rule. The longest match rule simply states that we select the most specific route and send our packet to that next hop. So for instance, if we can match the exact host route, that would be the most specific match possible. We then work our way down the line if we can match the subnet or a group of subnets, maybe the major network or a group of major networks. If nothing else is working, we send that packet to the default address. So for example, if I am trying to match based on the longest match, and I have a packet that comes in looking for the destination 192.168.27.33, I'm in luck. I have an exact match. However, if I have a packet that comes in looking for 192.168.24.1, I will have to use the fourth address down because that is the most specific address that I have available. Now finally, if I'm going to try to go to the network 10.0.0.0, then I have to use the default address because that address is not listed in my routing table. Please join me for understanding routing tables and administrative distance.